you, Janice. A Minnesota court is forcing USA Powerlifting to allow transgender women to compete against biological women. The court says USA Powerlifting was, quote, making a person pretend to be something different, and it violated the Minnesota Human Rights Act with its longstanding policy. USA Powerlifting is now considering an appeal. Paul Bossi is the president of 100% Raw Powerlifting Federation and joins us now. Good morning to you, Paul. Hi, Angel. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you. What's your reaction to this? Uh, gosh, it's, it's terrible. Um, I'm pretty upset about it. A lot of the female lifters in our organization are very upset about it as well. The women have worked really, really hard to get where they are. And uh, by this change here, it's, it's going to destroy not just powerlifting, but it's going to trickle down and destroy other sports as well. I know like you're lifting, you have different classes. The, you have the weight class, you have the age class. So if a 45-year-old woman is competing against a 45-year-old biological male, then it's just a guarantee that, that the biological woman is going to be outlifted, right? Yeah, that, I mean, there's no doubt, you know. We, we had an incident a few years back. Um, it, we, we've been around for 24 years. We've only had one incident where a uh, transgender female lifter wanted to compete with us. And, um, you know, she, she came in and broke four world records. Um, and we, we had to reverse that. Uh, our bylaws state that you lift the way you were biologically born. Uh -huh. And, you know, we, don't, we, not, we let anybody lift. We're not going to discriminate. Anybody can lift if they want. But we, you know, we have a membership. You join the membership. There's other organizations out there. There's about 15 national organizations, and some are tested, some are non-tested, some are equipped, some are raw. You get to choose. You find out what works best for you, and you lift that way. So I know this all happened um, February 27th. J.C. Cooper, uh, a transgender athlete, won this discrimination case against USA Powerlifting. You say it's not fair. Uh, what what are you hearing? You said you talked to some of your athletes and they're upset about this. What exactly are they saying? Well, I mean, you know, there's a reason why there's Title IX. There's a reason why there's male and female divisions and everything. Men are naturally stronger. They get 67% more muscle mass on them. Naturally, they have testosterone, which is a, a uh, muscle-inducing uh, chemical that your body releases. We all, we all know, you know, why men you know, do so well and why we're so much stronger. That's why. I mean, you look at any sport, you're going to have the men's lifts are so much further than the women's lifts. The you know, men's world records in, in deadlifts are, are reaching 1,100 pounds. Uh, in the women's division, you know, it, it's very rare to see a 400-pound deadlift. Um, you know, we have teenage kids that are doing 500-pound deadlifts, 600-pound deadlifts, teenage boys. Wow. You know, we, we, our elite female, the best female we have in our organization, she deadlifts about 450 pounds, what? and she is the elite, the number one. That's incredible. All yeah. right, Paul, thank you for coming on with us. We appreciate it.